Hello drivers, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James, and today we're gonna to be doing a overview of the drift car versions of the awesome Turbo Racing RC car uh, lineup that we're selling here at Motion RC. They have monster trucks, they have just standard race cars, but they do sell these two drift cars, which come uh, ready to run everything you see on the table before you, uh, split in half. We either have the blue version or the green version is what you're gonna get out of the box. Again, these babies are 176 scale, so they fit in the palm of your hand. You can drive these around on the coffee table while you're sitting on the couch. Uh, they're made for indoor fun, and um, we also sell some tracks and accessories that you can use for turbo racing. We'll show them here. Um, we have some rollout uh, tracks. You might have seen them in other videos. Um, most of them are made from like a durable mouse pad type of material but we do sell one track that is made exclusively for the drift cars and uh that comes it's more made of more plastic um it's a little smoother surface so that your car is able to drift but for the most part tile floor uh hardwood floor polish you want a slippery surface to uh help you um you know, be able to drift these babies around. So real quick, let's get into what comes out of uh, each one of these boxes, whether you get just to show what you get uh, in the package. So coming out of the box, you're gonna, we'll start with the transmitter here. Now this transmitter will come in two pieces uh, in the box. That's how they sort of fit it in that box, if you were wondering, but basically you, you pop the two together. You're gonna need four AA batteries, which um, you open the bottom, here we go and the whole bottom slides out and you put your four uh, AAA batteries in there. That's the only thing you need to provide. So you put that in, then you can lock that down. Use your thumbnail, there we go. Now it's locked. And what's cool about these transmitters, which is awesome, when you have them in there, there is a little charger. Uh, it's a USB-C port on the bottom that you could connect the car to and you can put the uh, you can put the transmitter in a charge mode. So all the way to the left is power on, the middle would be just uh, your charge mode right there, and then off is all the way to the right. So you can charge up your car on the go, you don't need to bring an extra cable, but you can also charge it with a regular USB-C. Now the other difference with this transmitter as opposed to some of the other transmitters are uh, all your standard RC transmitters for the turbo racing cars, the standard RC cars, the non-drift, um, they will have throttle dual rate and then throttle uh, trim and steering dual rate and steering trim. This transmitter is a little different. This one has a gyro gain because yes, these RC uh, drift cars, these small ones, do have a gyro in, which we're gonna show you in a little bit, to help you get better drift. So you can turn the gain up and down um, as you go to get the right uh, gain, because if you've you know, ever played with a gyro, if it's over gain, your gyro will wobble. If it's under gain, it won't do anything. So you're looking to find that Goldilocks spot of the gain uh, for however you like to drive your drift car. So that's a really cool feature. And then some of the other uh, additions on the transmitter, you do have three different speed levels. So you can go 20%, 50%, or full 100%. Again, you might wanna drive slower to do some drifts, or if you're in a smaller space, you don't want it to be too quick, but these things can go. And then you're able to re uh, reverse your steering if for some reason it was reversed. And then you have the ability on the side with these buttons to control the lights because that's another cool feature about uh, these cars is that they have underbody lights so they look really cool uh, in the darkness and we could show you that in a little bit as well. And now other things that come out of the box, you do get a tool, it's a little uh, flathead screwdriver that's perfect for all the little uh, screws that are going to be on the car if you ever do need, it, need to take it apart. And then you're gonna see in here too, in the box, aside from your manual, which is very brief, it tells you basically everything you need to know. You do get two other bodies, which are really cool. So if you want to, you know, customize your own, each, each body comes with all the pieces needed to assemble that body, like a spoiler, uh, all the things that would be on this body that you see here, but you'll be able to, um, yeah, you know, paint one up, paint two up, uh, if you will, and each set comes with two spare bodies. So I think that's a really cool feature to add uh, to your drift cars. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for just a second. Let's show you the car itself. Another cool feature um, about these, unlike the other turbo racing cars, is that these tires are also brass. That also helps uh, keeping them nice and slippery to do the drifting around. So if you hear, when I tap it down to the hardwood, you could hear that uh, it's brass. If I grab one of the other cars behind me, 
one of the regular race cars, they have rubber tires, and you can hear the difference. Hear it? The difference is, uh, is noticeable. So it's great when you are, um, it's great when you're drifting, that's something you wanna have. So let me turn this one on. So I'm gonna move the blue one off to the side for the time being. Let's get that out of the way. And now like any other RC, turn on your transmitter first. And then on the bottom, again, all that's really here is gonna be your USB-C port and then your on and off switch is right here. So when I turn it on, you should see the underbody lights. So the green one has green, the blue one has blue. And then the other thing you'll see is that the gyro is working right now. So if he zooms into that, you can see the gyro. And I have the gain turned down to about a quarter. There's five ticks on here. Uh, so I have it uh, only at the first tick, if you will. I'm gonna turn the gain all the way up just to pronounce it. And you can see really how crazy uh, the gain could do. But now, obviously, when you are driving around, too high a gain is gonna make the car almost uncontrollable. Um, so you wanna get the gain down to a point where, you know, uh, the car drives nicely. So I have it very low at the moment. And now I'm gonna set the, uh, right now the throttle, actually the throttle is on full throttle, so I'll show you real quick. See now, it's a, we're on a slippery surface. So you wanna get up, but you can see how the car wants to drift. And you might be a better drifter than I, but if you set up your own course, maybe with some of the accessories that uh, they sell, they do have like walls and gates um, that go with the track, or you buy the drift track, but even like a little, on a table like this, I would use like a dry erase marker, I could probably draw my own track for it. But you can see how with the gyro where you wanna be, she could do some pretty cool stuff. So if you're somebody who likes drifting in general, even with bigger cars, I could see in your experience, I could see you having a ton of fun with something like this, just sitting on your couch, uh, you know, at the coffee table or something, or, uh, you know, having fun with a few of them. You know, you get two or three people drifting around a course, you know, that could be a lot of fun. Now, I'm just gonna show you real quick. So if I turn the gain up too high, uh, you can see how it, it wobbles. See how it wobbles like that? It just, it just sends it off. I could, I could, it's almost uncontrollable. Like I could barely turn it because it wants to set the tires straight all the time. So that's why you never want to go full gain. When I was, uh, when I'm playing on just this, you know, this is polyurethane hardwood table here. Uh, I just have the notch at the first notch from zero. So it goes zero to 10. I have it at the first notch, if that helps. But that makes it nice and smooth. And you have reverse function in case you're gonna go off the table. Let me grab some cones. If anybody has any uh, mini Z's from Kyosho, they do come with some, some cones, which are completely unscaled to, the, to these cars, but uh, you know, gives you something to maybe drift around and have some fun with. Let's see if I could even drift around a cone. Oh, I didn't go around it. But all around, super fun. Now plugging, uh, plugging in the uh, blue one, just to show you guys uh, the underground, uh, the under, the under lights. Again, you have blue, so blue for blue, green for green, which is really cool. And this one, again, I turned on the transmitter, and right away my gyro was on. I have the gyro set at basically the same, the same spot, and the blue one works really well as well. I got to become a better drifter. I need to, need to like. Fast and Furious this around the, uh, around the race car, racetrack. Oh, and before I forget, the other feature that's really cool is it has headlights and they have, uh, they have brake lights, which is pretty fun. So if you're going in reverse, uh, the little orange will get a little brighter on the back of the car. But now I just want to show you inside these. So if you want to get, you know, if you want to take a look inside, all you have to do is hold your front tires and then there's a little lip on the front of the, uh, of the whole body then the whole body just comes right off like that. And you can see the detail in there. It's just a cool little chipboard. All the LEDs are on it and your little LiPo uh, is direct soldered to that there. 
uh, but just super cool package. And when you want to put it back on, place it into the rear first, and then it'll, it'll, the cover will just snap on and uh, you can get going. So all around, just really cool, well thought out um, cars from Turbo Racing. We're super stoked to have these on the website. And I think they're just such an interesting difference from the monster trucks, which come with ramps for jumps, or the race cars, which have nice soft mats to really hug the road and race around like Indy 500 style or Daytona. And then this, uh, these drift cars, you know, just great features with the uh, built-in gyros and the easy ease of use as far as charging them and going and all the little features. Guys, if you have any other questions about these two, please leave them down below. Links to both of them are in the description. They're available in the US and the EU uh, stores right now. So uh, definitely check them out. And as always, guys, if you like this content, hit the like button and we'll see you next time at Motion RC.